top five ghosts caught on camera. Graveyard shift. TikTok user security1275 works the graveyard shift, literally. He works as an overnight security guard at a cemetery in Savannah, Georgia. This is supposed to be the most haunted cemetery in Savannah. It turns out that being an overnight security guard at a haunted cemetery is just exactly as scary as it sounds. So, I'm actually hearing something banging on the door. I'm hoping I'm gonna catch it some. Bear with me, guys. Um, okay, I'm back. Door was open again. Hello, security. Okay. I don't know how the hell they keep opening these. Hello. Yeah. Um. Hey, you need to come out. I'm not playing anymore. I don't know where the hell these people are or where. Jesus Christ. All right, call. It sounds like a small child is running around in one of the burial crypts, but security 1275 can't find the intruder. He gets cut off by TikTok's one minute video upload limit as he decides to just exit and leave the matter for the Savannah police. What security 1275 didn't notice, however, is that he also caught something else on camera. What looks to be a young child is standing behind a wall near the crypt. Bear with me guys. Security 1275 posts a follow-up video soon after this that is just as chilling. All right, guys, um, there was somebody standing in the corner. I just saw that when my video uploaded and what the f <sighs> The lights are flickering on and off. Hang on a second, guys. So don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm about to check this out. Okay, guys. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I'm f***ing done. Um, this is some spooky f***ing going on here. Um, nope. This is why my security officer f***ing quit. Um, just so y'all can be witness here. I'm checking all this sh I'm getting the hell out of here. This is my day off. I hear leaves crickling and Nope. There was a kid standing. Somebody was standing right over here when I walked right past them to the left. So is this a child ghost caught on camera running around the graveyard? Or is it all an elaborate hoax? As always, you decide. You can keep up with Security 1275's continuing spooky experiences by following his TikTok at Security 1275 or his YouTube channel, Security 9886. Dora the Horror. Reddit user Enigma's Light 209 says that years ago his sister had an electronic moving Dora the Explorer doll that she took everywhere. Unfortunately, his family was experiencing a hard time financially and just couldn't afford to constantly replace the doll's batteries. So instead, they removed the batteries entirely. His mom caught this video of his sister singing and playing with the doll. Enigma's Light 209 says that the toy was checked after they rewatched the video and no batteries. He says his dad threw the doll in the trash that night. A doctor in the house. The YouTube channel The Proper People is not really a paranormal channel. In fact, most of their videos are simply devoted to exploring strange abandoned places. 
There's no ghost hunting, no EMF meters, and no EVP recordings. However, over the channel's five-year history, they have explored a few allegedly haunted locations. Now, both Brian and I are consider ourselves to be skeptics. We've never really experienced anything paranormal ourselves. In this video, they're exploring the supposedly haunted Desjardins Asylum. Before this mental hospital was closed down, it is said that the asylum founder, Dr. Joseph Desjardins, performed many dark and inhumane experiments on his captive patients. So they say this hospital is haunted by Dr. Desjardins himself. And supposedly you can still hear him wandering the halls, dragging chains that he would have restrained patients with. Soon after, the guys experienced something absolutely terrifying. What's up? I thought I heard something. Really? Yeah. What did it sound like? Like footsteps. I mean, we've already been all through here. I know. And didn't see any. They're moving that way. That's why moving that way. Go this way. All right. All right. Let's get the out of here. It's the basement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This way. It was this way, right? Yeah. Being skeptics, the two assumed that they might have stumbled onto a homeless person living in the abandoned asylum. That was a person? I don't know. It's like a banging. Like a homeless person or something? I mean, it was a lot. Of, there were loud footsteps, though. Those footsteps were super loud, though. Maybe they were dragging something. The proper people investigate, but find no one in the building. Assuming the whole incident to simply be homeless people who are now hiding from them, they decide to make their exit. However, YouTube commenters notice something a bit strange in the video. Some background noise that sounds a bit like whispering occurs right before the creepy footsteps. I mean, we've already been all through here. I know. And didn't see any. They're moving that way. Now, obviously, neither of the guys would be lightly whispering incoherently. So, just what is their camera picking up? Some of their viewers believe that they did have a paranormal encounter after all. But, what do you think? You can see the rest of this video, including their investigation of the upstairs footsteps, over on their YouTube channel, The Proper People. Room with a view. The manager of an apartment complex sent in these next spooky clips. She says that she often hears office doors open and close even though she's working alone. Even creepier, she says that once when her son came to visit her at work, he went off exploring, only to come back screaming and in tears because as he put it, quote, something is whispering my name. Building residents have reported similar chilling stories. One day, they catch something very bizarre on the apartment complex CCTV. Okay. What is it helping? Oh, oh, we missed it. I'm gonna go back. It was at 121, right? I think so. There it goes. Crazy. That was crazy, right? Yes, it was crazy. And the crazy just gets even crazier. Another day, and the CCTV captures this in the same area.
some dark mass seems to form at the doorway, and then it looks as if something exits the room and disappears. The building manager says that the building is a fairly new construction and she's not aware of any dark history. But nevertheless, the strange occurrences continue to this day. In over his head. Dennis Domian is a Croatian YouTuber who does a little bit of everything on his YouTube channel, including an occasional bit of ghost hunting. In this video, his friend tells him about her creepy experience in an abandoned haunted house. She mentions that the house has an incredibly haunted, spooky attic. She says that she and her friends were too afraid to even enter the attic after they heard bizarre scratches on the ceiling. So Dennis decides to explore the place himself, including the attic that he was told was too haunted to enter. It doesn't go well. Mene samo strah da mene neko ne dočeka iza zida i klepi me po glavi. Klepi ovo. Šta? Nekom jeziku stranom, nekom žnj, nekom demonskom, nešto piše. A ja ti dole. Ja, ok, ovo je zabranjen, ali ovo ne znam šta piše. Ajde dole, daj mi pusti dole. Dajmo gore. Ne, Deniz, daj me ovi, daj Deniz. Bježi! Bježi! As Dennis ascends the stairs, you can actually hear heavy footsteps running toward him across the attic floor. Dennis screams and the group flees the house in terror. Iskreno ću vam reći ljudi, znači, ta vila je, ja mislim, najgora prostorija u kojoj sam ja, najgori prostor u kojem sam ja ikad boravio. A bio je u puno prostora. So, did Dennis catch a ghost or a demonic entity on camera? Was there something evil in that attic? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you want to submit a video, go to facebook.com slash nukestop5 and hit the send message button. Also follow me on Twitter, where this week I'll be debunking that Thailand graveyard video that's going around. See you next week.